What's up with the gang? It's your boy, Josh. Back with another video, man. Today we got Rick Ross champagne moments. Drake, this <laughs> audio. Now I heard um, Rick Ross, he responded. After Drake dropped that this song, he responded in like two hours. So Drake's, okay. Yeah, dog. See this? Too, dude. I am hot, dog. All right. It don't even matter. Okay, so so I don't recall or necessarily remember Drake dissing him. In the, in the uh, song we just did, y'all go watch that reaction. He said, um, he said, all your hits because of me. Oh, yeah. All okay, your number did. one. He sure did. He showed, yeah, dog. He sure I did. I think they beefing over something. It got something to involve with uh, French Montana. I seen that on the post, but uh, yeah. They said now, all, this, all this beef that's going on with everybody, this all been like, it's been boiling it ain't over. It just happened out yeah. of nowhere. Like, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get that aspect. If that's truly what it's it is. Like, at the same time, like years of secret let, animosity. Let me let me just say this though, because I, I saw some of the comments, and and folk really don't get it as far as for for uh, for my stance on it. Look, I have not been involved in following other people's drama. When I listen to music, I'm listening just for that record's sake. So. If you want to get caught up in, you know, in what's going on, you know, have at it. But I just don't. And so I'm not trying to know the history in the background. I shouldn't have to do research to enjoy a daggone song. And so so I'm not trying to 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 know who is mad at who and for what reason and all that. I ain't got time for that. I barely I barely follow it when I watch a movie, doggone it. And so I'm not doing it now. So, hey. If 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 you feel like that's what I need to do, that's your feeling. I appreciate it. I understand. However, that's not what you're gonna get coming from the kid. If it's some stuff that I know from from when I came up, yeah, when I was tied into it, fine. But beyond that, man, you was tied into it. Yeah, because I, I mean, I used to be worried about this stuff. It's like, ooh, LL and, and Kumo D, man. I follow that whole beef. Okay, I'm high. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we're fitting it straight into this one. If you new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the Instagram. Um, road 300k. Go watch the Drake diss. Let's get straight into it. Gang. All right. Did you see in them comments on the on the um the video I just posted? On Genius, like when you click it, if it's in gray, if you click it, oh it, that's uh, what they was talking about. It explain like oh. I did not know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't know that for ah. <laughs> okay. So if it's like a part we don't understand, we click it. Only if it's in gray, we can just click it, man. Gotcha. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. Y'all fin finally giving us good information, I'm saying. No, nah, not finally. They give a whole, a whole lot nah, of good information. Saying. Yeah. That's gonna get into like it, man. That. And I heard I heard Rick Ross. I heard I heard this one of the ones. Fish tanks and marble floors living big and bad. Oh, hold on, hold on. I ain't expecting to go straight in. Hold on. Maybe that music. Fish tanks and marble floors living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label mm. taking a loss, are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get okay. the mind to <laughs> So I remember we was talking about we was talking about that ghost writing stuff yesterday. Yeah, yeah. See, I don't care about the ghost writing. See, look, 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 Drake. Well, yeah, well, yeah, help us out. Drake has long been accused of accused of using ghostwriters to write his songs. This is a big uh, fox pass in hip hop as authenticity has been a major as authenticity theme. has been a major yeah. theme. Now, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I I, I, I talked I, I spoke on this yesterday. But as far as folk talking trash about ghostwriting, so what? It's it's really it's really not. It's like people make that more of an issue than, than anything else. Again, the, the example that I used yesterday was Easy E. There's others, but Easy E, he came out and said plainly, "Ice Cube writes the rhymes that I say," and they still made uh, made made oodles and oodles of money. And so so the thing about it is that can you say them and make them look good? Somebody somebody can make a song and you can remix it. Or they have a beat and you can you you can rap on it. It's really it's the same type of thing. It's the same scenario. So it when, when you put your flavor to whatever somebody give you, if you can make it pop, doggone it, more credit to you. So I don't I don't have a I don't have an issue with with Drake if he does uh, use Ghost Riders. If he doesn't, fine. If he does, fine too. 
But you can't. Well, I ain't even gonna say that. No, say it. Say it because. because say it because mm -hmm. it, it, it 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 gives it gives a balance to it. If you, I have one opinion, you may have a different. I'm gonna say you can't be out here popping it like that, and you got a ghostwriter. As far as rapper, yes, you can. <laughs> but okay. Jab, my tripper was sound like it was low. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label taking a loss. Are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind tell by my watch. This a different time. Living fine, I'm getting high. It's your shit decline. Ooh. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Run up on you and snatch your chain. Watch you bitches bleed. <laughs> Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. See what that see what that's getting money. Ross is pointing out the contradiction between the themes in Drake music and Drake actual lifestyle. Ooh. Mm, I don't know because I don't know Drake's, Drake's lifestyle. All I know is that Rick Ross and Drake both make more money probably in, in two months than I will in a year. And that's exaggerating. They get paid. Run up on you and snatch your chain. Watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. Be a oh. G or give a fuck if you chi Ali. You got it and you keep it tough if you be by me. I don't oh. know what that mean. Um, I don't know who. who. Oh, homage to uh Homage to Biggie's classic yeah. album, Ready to Die. You listened to that before? I have heard that. I ain't never heard that. That's matter of fact, that's it right there. Yeah. That's Notorious B.I.G. At the end of the day, Biggie, Biggie was, was one of those cats. He was an incredible, incredible storyteller. I like cats who can spit a story and um, you know make it interesting and, and keep you going. But that's just that's my era of rap. So I did fuck if you chi Ali. You got it and you keep it tough if you be by me. Do the job better known as the Charles Schwab. Double loss spread through the yard, and I swear to God. <laughs> Charles Schwab insurance. Feel, go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keep in the or trading, I mean. when you see me, you check me. He said, I wish I had the little beat. He said, uh, people leaking their records. I don't know, yeah. People leaking the records when we speaking directly. Now, and we keep it a gangster when you see me check me. <laughs> now that that's hard. Yeah, because uh, they was talking about his little stuff was um leaked. Drake Drake this song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I mean he that's said, that's how grown men do it though. Records when we speak it directly. It's like look, if you <laughs> if, if you and that's how that's how I am. If you have an issue with me. Let's not address address it ambiguously. Don't, don't if you are going to speak my name, that's different than you just 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 talking anonymously. If you speak anonymously, I'm gonna cheer it on just like everybody else. But until you say me, then you know, then we might have something to talk about, and that and that's give me the discretion or the choice to address it. Rick Ross just decided I'm gonna go ahead and, and get with you, but. Ah. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. White boy, I see you. I see you. He said, White boy, I see you. <laughs> Getting bullied, don't walk up on me because the clip is fully. Niggas pussy don't want to push me. I'm like, really, Woody? Like his moves, but he never had a fight in school. Always ran another nigga, had to write your grooves. Flow was copying uh -huh. the base. I don't see what that mean. Boy, that's the. JK always had some allegations of not right now. I'm finna say that's self explanatory. And they said, some people, some people get accused, then, and, and, and he, he, he pulls it on here. Some I heard Ross uh, making fun of um, Drake because he had a, got a nose job. But see that so like. what? So what? I'm like really Woody, like his moves, but he never had a fight in school. Always ran another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace. Oh, Weezy gave you the juice. Another Stop. white boy had to park one and hang with the crew. He said Weezy gave you Weezy gave you the juice. He talking about Lil, Lil Wayne. Wayne. Yeah. Who? Stop, stop, stop doing all the moving, Josh. Just let, just let it go all the way. No, down. I didn't try to do that. I just said my fault. I'm, I'm, <laughs> now nah, look, 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 this is what I'm going to say. While we really arguing, J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake, Wayne is definitely in the big three. 
Wayne of see, all time. But see, Wayne. Oh, they probably talking about currently. But I don't care what they're talking about. You, you, you cannot. You can't disrespect Wayne. I mean, Wayne. He's Wayne, definitely one Lil, up there. Lil, Lil, Lil Wayne is. He is so. And see, this should be an encouragement for all you young cats. All you cats are still still in school. Get your take your behind the class. <clears throat> you got to learn words in order to be able to express yourself, and you're not going to do that sitting out, sitting out, you know, uh, shooting dice in the bathroom, man. Take your narrow behind the class, doggone it. School always ran, another nigga had to write your grooves. Flo was copying your pace, Weezy gave you the juice. He said Flo is copying and paste. Want to hang with the crew. Pull it surprise when they're switching up like dyed denim. Get incentives for all the killers Ooh. while we ride rentals. Look me right in my face. He beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more money than you. Fuck you want me to say. 50 mils for the crib. Where you want me to stay? Whoo! Now where's <laughs> well, Do you know what he's saying right there? We well, can click it now. Now, matter of fact, were you okay? I took okay. Uh, yeah, that picture. Yeah. I see Rick, Rick Ross's house in Atlanta, he stays where Evander Holyfield lived at. Rick Ross has a security guard. First, first he got one of the biggest pools. That his crib is laid. It is laid. It's unnecessarily laid. His crib is so is so nice. I came back home and I felt like my whole life is just wasted. You like you seen it from a distance or from from the gate? No, no, no. Uh, we we actually you know uh, uh, we went up to it, and you know matter of fact he had some stuff going on that day. I'm not going into all of that, but but his crib is nice. He has uh, there's like some powder blue um, vehicles. He he has a fleet of cars just. Sitting oh yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I was like, why? Because yeah, it's, see, it's, it's 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 too it's too much money. So at the end of the day, it don't matter. And and he's pointing this out. See, if you you don't have to floss and show how much stuff you got, just be happy and content with where you are. He made me feel bad for a minute, but I came home and you know I got myself together. But mm. doggone it, I don't have to eat eat steak all the time. You know, um, I can you know I can deal with a good pork chop sandwich. You know, fried pork chop done right. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I got pictures to paint, let you DM my old, but got bitches you can't let you get on my songs. It was good for your face. See, I heard a lot of these rappers mad cause Drake be trying to hit their girl. They, but see, that's that's See look. Now see that's Rick foul. Ross unfollowed Drake on Instagram, was featured on Everyday Hustle on We Don't Trust You in the Song. <laughs> oh, he dissed his uh baby mama. Baby mama's still the biggest op. See, I How do jeans be knowing all this, bro? I don't even want to know all this stuff, but you know, I just want to enjoy the song. Come on. Now bitch nigga is home and no room for debate. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. Mm. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. Maybe I See? I told you. Hold on. Let's click on it. Let's See, click on it. You running your mouth and I missed it. <laughs> Why do that? Josh. He said Rick Ross takes shots at Drake for being insecure about his prominent black Afro American features to the point of which Drake is mad. Using the term father knows. Basically, he he's saying you don't have your same nose. Yeah, you know, like Michael Jackson got his nose changed. Yeah, that's why. That's stuff. why I told you. So, <sighs> see, but see, this 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 is why I don't like these kind of beefs because now folk take it personal. It don't have to be personal. You putting out that that kind of slime on folk. That's not cool. Did I use slime right? <laughs> what I said, so you putting out that slime on people, and I know y'all talk about that, slime. You, you saying like slime like ick, right? But that's not how we use it. Okay, though. well, y'all still wrong. Come on. See? Remember in that documentary we had uh, reacted to? They said Drake low key be hating. 
And if okay. Rick Ross right, I ain't gonna lie. That's yeah. See, this this the inside scoop, the inside stuff, but um I don't like seeing folk airing their personal He's, dirty laundry. You see, that wasn't the same white boy that I is. seen coming up. That wasn't the same white boy that I seen, nigga, when we The one thing too that's very interesting about the celeb beefs and stuff like that, I, I will say this. <clears throat> they really don't mind cutting folk off. Yeah. And that's that's such it's it's a it's it's a beautiful lesson to learn in life. There are some people that it is okay just to cut off. Um sometimes you have the gift. You have to have the gift of saying no and goodbye. It may hurt, and you may feel some type of way about it. But at the end of the day, if a person is not is is like pruning, you know, you 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 cut off the dead stuff in order to continue growing. And if that's what it takes, that's just what it takes. So I respect celebrities because no most of them have the ability just to do that. It's the gift of saying bye bye. <laughs> Come on. Making them early records, nigga. When you were happy to be around, nigga, seeing nigga so fucking stun in your life, nigga. Get Wheezy some more money, nigga. Get rap a lot some more money, nigga. White boy. Yeah. White boy. <laughs> it's Rose, nigga. We can do it how you want to do it, where you want to do it, anytime you want to do it. I'm ready. I'm ready, white boy. Huh? I know you got your dockers on with no underwear, white boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had that surgery, that six pack going. That's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it, nigga. White boy. <laughs> Shut up, Josh. That's not nice. That's not nice right there. Hello. See, why you stopped that? I ain't stopped that. I didn't either. He talking about white boy. <laughs> That's not nice. <sighs> boy. Shoot. Well, folks, there you have it. Man. Uh, it's going to be a lot of these songs. I told y'all, Drake, Drake, he coming back. That was that was a simple. Everybody really taking light on each other. I don't think that they're taking a light. I, some see, yeah. Now, J. Cole, he went in. Kendrick, that wasn't even no hold. That was a feature. Yeah, I'm ready to hear. What it's about Kendrick to get. It's about to get real, real rough, real grimy for a whole lot of cats. And if folk got personal stuff on you, is is it's probably gonna come out. And that's another thing. You keep your personal business to you because it's called personal. Everybody don't need to know your stuff, man. Um, boy, they say keep your keep your friends uh, or uh, enemy closer. Yeah, keep your enemies or keep your friends close, but your enemies Enemy closer. closer. Uh, I'm shutting everybody out that uh, <laughs> that's not down, but I get it. Um, I guess it is it is it's good for, for the culture, but it's bad for, for cats on a personal. I love level. it. Let's keep it up, fellas. You just messy for nothing. If you new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the Instagram, roll to 300 k Like keep turning off. We good though. If you know, I don't know why this comes to mind, but the best cereal in the world coming up was Fruit Loops. Oh my gosh. A good cold, ice cold bowl of milk with, with Fruit Loops in it is just it just it just made life better, man. So you come from them days of fruity pebbles, even cocoa pebbles. I think yep. I might just go have some cereal, man. Y'all be safe, gang. Peace. <laughs>